Hello reformers and welcome back to Parisno. Now, when we left off, we were doing a siege in Gawi and we succeeded. Oh yeah, we succeeded and the kingdom of Tolrenia is now no more. And I have to report that the various vassals that were a part of Tolrenia have now defected, most of them, about 80-90% of them, have joined the Elantorans. So we are going to have even more vassals running around attempting to secure territory, but that of course also means that various fiefs and things like that will obviously be a little bit more sparse for us to claim ourselves. But there's something going on here. We have a declaration of war, Drahara is declaring war against the Hakon, and we are also doing that. The Elantorans are also declaring war against the Hakon Empire. Now, of course, as we know, the Hakon Empire is not particularly strong at the moment. They're pretty... Yeah, they're pretty weak. They're pretty weak. I've just been waiting at Gawi, by the way. I just received my weekly wages, about 7,000. Not really very good. But, yes, here you go. These are the Hakon. They are not doing very well as I looked at in the previous episode at the end of that. Now, what I'm going to do is I think what I would like to do at the, at the very least, I would love to be able to take Anluk's castle as I have many times said. I would love to be able to take it, but as it stands, I don't know whether we'll be able to considering the Zan like to turn up and they like to throw a little bit of a spoke in the works. You know, a little bit of a you know, spanner in the works, should I say? Not a spoke. Uh, yes, anyway. We have 84 hired veteran warriors. Now, what do they level up into? Let's take a look. They level up into hired foot knights. Now, I'm not entirely sure if our trainers are going to be able to do that. I don't know whether they have the ability to train up units to that higher level. I would assume that they do. But let's just see, let's just wait and see and, and, you know, hope that they actually do. Anyway, I'm going to put another 10,000 in here because they're going to require a lot of money to be able to level up those hired foot knights. So hopefully that will be enough for them. Now I do have a bunch of, uh, yes, I do have a bunch of companions here that need level ups. I don't particularly, oh, well, I, I, I'm going to show, okay, what I'm going to do is because it usually takes a huge amount of time out of the video when I'm leveling up companions, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to level up Tylan and any new companions initially, because they usually have a bunch of extra skill points to spend. So what we're going to do with him, I have no idea, <laughs> but we're going to just level up his Power Strike and Iron Flesh because that's just standard sort of stuff that he's obviously going to benefit from because he's using a one-handed sword and a polearm doesn't really use anything else. So that's perfectly fine with me. And then I'm going to level up the rest off screen. All right, so there you go. I've leveled up a couple of them into trainer, and otherwise I just leveled up some of their strength skills. That seems to be the best way to go at the moment. All right, so we are pretty good right now. We are, you know, actually dominating the, well, small-ish territory that the Elantorans have. Of course, the Zan are the main problem in this area. So I'm going to head over to the Anlux Castle area, see if there are any, uh, see if there are any, dastardly Zan units in the vicinity. If they are around here, then I'll try and take them on, but mm, it's probably not looking good at the moment because we know that they travel around with really, really large amounts of people. Oh, no, it seems like we might be able to, but it really depends on if they have received reinforcements in terms of... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, a couple of episodes ago, I did attempt to take this, and there were probably about supplies enough for two or three days remaining, and now we have seven. So, yeah, that's not particularly nice, is it? I suppose what I should do is just build a ladder, and we're going to try and defeat them that way. And let's just level up these guys, there we go, and that should be fine. All right, so we are going to go in here. I'm going to try and just kill them, okay? So now, I have never done this before against the Zan, so it would be really cool if we could make this work, but you never know. I mean, the Zan might actually be really, really good, 
at defending castles. I have never done it, so obviously I have no experience in that regard. So we're going to find out, I suppose. Yes, we're going to find out. Okay, so let's tell our archers to stand closer. That's generally what I have been doing initially in sieges, especially in the Gawi siege. And what I'm going to do is I'm just literally going to fire into as many of the Zen units as possible with my own bow. Oh yeah, by the way, I took Tamaris's bow because I did give her initially the 10 power draw bow and now I am using that 10 power draw bow. It has 37 damage because it has a strong prefix on it and I, I'd say that it's actually pretty good. I mean, I have seen a couple of people mention that the Perisno flat bow is probably the second best bow in the mod and the best one is the Perisno dark forest bow or something along those lines. And apparently you have to get the Prisno Dark Forest bow from a task or a quest from some fellow in Fornion, but unfortunately he is a Geldarin agent, basically. He's kind of like Nodar in Volderberg, and instead of you, you know, allying yourself with the Ilika Falki, you're ally allying yourself with the Geldarins, and the final quest apparently is to take Fawn Iron itself, and obviously that is just not really going to happen at any point. So I, I say that, you know, it's not going to happen, but who knows? I have no idea what, really what's going to happen in the future. But you do have to bear in mind that it's only, well, it's a, it's a, I, I would say it's kind of a minor upgrade from what we have now. Yes, it is three more damage, and three more damage in general is actually pretty decent to get when you're trying to sort of eke out every single little bit of damage from your items and things like that. So it is pretty, you know, it is pretty important to try and get the highest damage possible, but going from 37 to 40, I don't know whether it makes too much difference considering that's a very, very difficult quest line to complete. And I don't know whether I want to put in that many resources when we're doing absolutely fine as it is. If only there were more Zan units here without shields. Actually, some of them, as you can see, do actually have shields, which is pretty terrible for me because I was thinking to myself, oh, the Zan must be really easy to win against in sieges because they don't have shields. But yes, some of them actually do. So it's a bit disappointing to me. But anyway, I'm going to see if I can... I'm a bit worried about coming up here because if I come up here and then get shot, I'm going to die almost instantaneously. I'm going to actually just pick up some of these arrows. Oh yeah, give me these arrows. That's what we like. Okay, so let's have a look here. Hello, you have a lot of shields. Yeah, you do. You have a lot of shields. You're annoying. Yes, there we go. Come here. Yes, get shot. Uh, are you going to get shot soon? No, no, your shield is protecting you rather nicely actually. Oh, there we go. I killed one of them. Nice, nice. But yeah, as you can see, it's pretty easy for me to get kills now if I can actually get past their shields. That is the main issue that we're having right now, which is yeah, a pretty big problem. It is a pretty big problem, but hopefully it's not going to always be like that. Yeah, could I? Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Every single one that I want a headshot gets headshot before I get there. Ah, yes, of course. Okay. Well, we've already killed 340 of them, which is pretty insane, if I do say so myself. And I don't actually know what we should do. Shall we... Shall we charge in? I think if we charge in, that would be pretty amazing, because I kind of want to capitalize on the renown rewards for this particular siege, and considering we have already killed over half of the enemies currently stationed here, I think we might be in with a chance of winning outright without us even having to retreat once. That would be pretty amazing. There's a nice headshot for us right there. He made the mistake of lowering his shield. There's another one. We're doing some pretty decent damage now, which I gotta say is really quite a nice change. Oh yes, quite a nice change. There we go. Can I shoot their legs? Come on now, let me shoot their legs. Oh, there we go. There's someone. And he's just moving, of course. Fantastic. Let's kill that militia. Oh, no. Now I'm being shot. Now I'm being shot. Okay, let's be a little bit careful, shall we? Uh, oh, oh, I'm being shot from somewhere. Where am I being shot from? Oh, well. Oh, oh, up there. Up there, I think, perhaps. 
Let's see if I can do a little bit of damage here. There we go. Look at that, 56 damage. That's exactly what we want. We want to be doing this kind of damage all the time. It's, oh, it's finally happened, everyone. It's finally happened that Scout is a little bit more effective in battle. But of course, we are fighting against units that are not particularly the best well armored. I'm going to heal myself, I'm going to heal my units, and then we're going to charge in. It's about time, I think, because we seem to have all run out of ammunition. So let's tell everyone to charge. Our infantry is, of course, going to go in first. And I'm going to pick up some arrows before they get here. Pick up these arrows, raise my shield a little bit. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so let's go in. Let's go in and see what we can do. Of course, this shield is really quite nice, so I'm hopeful that it will be able to protect me on my way past all of these units because I kind of want to get over here to prevent the archers that actually do still have ammunition from doing anything to us, but you never know. Maybe... Yeah, maybe they're just going to destroy me in melee, but it seems because they have pole arms, that's not going to be the case. So hopefully I'll be able to... Yeah, there we go. Nice, nice. Okay, who's this? This guy seems to not be a Zan unit at all. He seems to be some sort of defector. Well, this is not very good, is it? No, it's not very good for me to deal with this guy. Are you serious? This guy is literally... Wow, Freelancer Master Archer. Okay, well, apparently he's pretty good. Apparently he's pretty good, but he did fall before us, so I suppose he's not that good, but still, you know pretty nice to see that the freelancer units are actually pretty decent. Ooh, look at how many of these guys there are. Okay, this is fantastic. This is absolutely fantastic for us. I am hopeful that I will be able to get many, many kills here. Alright, so there seems to be a bit of a problem. Is there a bit of a problem? Maybe? I'm not entirely sure whether we're just stuck or whether there's something that I need to do, like micromanage my own units there. Okay, I'm going to try and heal myself again. No, it's not ready yet, unfortunately. But, hmm, this, I don't know whether this is going to work, because there are many, many Zan Longbowmen down there. As you can see, there are huge amounts of them, and, well, suffice it to say, we're probably going to, oh, hello. Yeah, you're trying to shoot me. Well, that's not going to work, is it? Yeah, you're going to die. You're going to die. Thank you very much. Okay, so this is a two-handed slash one-handed, so I'm going to wait around here. I'm going to go, yeah, I'm going to come out, yeah, I'm going to slash him, yes, there we go, that's what you get. Okay, I'm going to wait here again. Yeah, it's a complete surprise now, no one's seen me, no one has seen me come out here, right? <laughs> no, they have, they have certainly seen me. I'm going to charge at them without my shield, yes, let's do this, here, come on, take him down. This is actually working better than expected. Interesting, I suppose I do have some pretty good armor, so I suppose that does make it, oh. Yes. <laughs> I suppose I have some pretty good armor, so I suppose that does make a difference. No, it doesn't. Yes, 34 damage. How did I take 34 damage? Did I get killed by the melee, or did I get shot from off-screen somewhere? Hmm. Oh well, it doesn't particularly matter, because we are going to prevail. And we did have a little bit of fun behind the enemy's lines, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that result, even though it would have been nice for us to survive. But, well, our units can make sure that they will end the siege on a pretty high note, as you can see. There we go. That was actually much easier than I anticipated. Much easier. It's much easier than waiting the seven days to starve them out, isn't it? And there's 49 Renown. Okay, so what's going on with that? Because the Renown value said that I was going to get 92? Wasn't it 92 or something along those lines? Didn't they say that I was going to get a huge amount of renown for that? But 49? I, I didn't think that the limit was 50. Maybe the limit is still 50 in Perizno. Maybe it's not being changed or anything like that. But I seem to recall that a lot of people were mentioning that you can get more renown. Maybe I'm getting mixed up with another mod. Hmm, that might be the case. Anyway, only 12 units succumbed to the cold embrace of death in that particular siege. But 626 of the enemies, oh yeah, they all went down. Nice. Alright, so we do have a little bit of space. and uh, I'm not entirely sure what to take right now. I don't think there are any Elantorans here. No, there don't seem to be any Elantorans. So I think I'm just going to take as many of the higher level ones as I can. And then of course I'll just take all of the prisoners. And then we'll move on. Uh, we have some pretty, yeah, pretty decent, pretty decent loot. I'm going to take that just to sell. And, oh yeah, by the way, those helms that I picked up in a previous episode, I have given those to 
various companions that needed the helms. So that's pretty cool. Anyway, I'm going to be requesting that this be awarded to us. I don't know when or if I will ever be able to request a town. So I'm going to just stockpile a bunch of castles if I can. If they decide to give this to one of the new Tolranian vassals, then eh, that would it's not particularly cool of them. You know, I'm not, I'm not particularly happy with that. But I'm going to accept it anyway because I'm still a little bit thinking that we're going to try and take over the faction instead of create our own because if we you know take over take over the faction then we have all of the vassals in place already and i'm still a little bit kind of should we say murky about what we are going to actually try to do to take over the faction itself so let's see let's actually see what happens with that anyway i'm going to wait here for some time and we're going to see if anyone decides okay oh oh what's going on what's going on over here Oh, Queen Arwen has the greatest support among the lords of the Elan Torrents, but Queen Arwen overrules their choice and gives it to Archduke Tyricus. <laughs> you know who Archduke Tyricus is, right? Yeah, he was that vassal that attempted to besiege Federo Castle, which is one of our fiefs. Ah, hmm, that's... That's grinding my gears a little bit. Queen Arwen not making the best decision there, in my opinion, but, well, I suppose... What can you do? What can you say about that? Not really anything. She is the queen, after all, so we're not going to be able to say anything to her about it, but, well, maybe maybe in the future we'll, we'll warrant, you know, something like that. But I suppose she does have to kind of... Oh, whoa, whoa, what's going on here? What is going on there? Well, this is crazy. Okay, so Duke, what is his name? Albondiel? Yes, there's Albondiel. I do need to speak to him regarding the Marshall quest. Yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so where are you, you going to go? Are you actually going to do something useful, or are you just going to stand there and do nothing like most of the Marshalls? <laughs> uh, well, we're going to see in a pretty short amount of time, I guess. I'm going to accompany him. Now, who's going over there? We have a couple of people. Wow, we have a lot of vassals now. We have an absolutely amazing amount of vassals. We're going to probably be able to take basically anything, I think, from anyone. So let's just see what happens here. Okay, so the Reich and the Zan are now making peace with each other. Let's see what goes on here, though. I, I would very much like to go to a town to sell my prisoners. Maybe I should do that. Oh no, it seems we are going on a journey to the Hakon. Yeah, it seems like we're going to go to Hakon territory. This is going to be pretty impressive. If we're able to eliminate the Hakon as well, then it will just be the Elantorans, the Maccabeans who are on their last legs, the Zan, the Valahir clan of course, the Reich, and then a, a bunch of other relatively minor factions in the in, in the form of the giants of course even though they are not minor in their stature they are pretty minor in the amount of territory that they currently own but we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens now as you can also see it seems like my money is being used to upgrade sword maidens into female assassins now i have no problem with that whatsoever because i'm pretty sure the female assassins are really good units but I would much prefer the <laughs> the veteran was it the veteran the hired veteran warriors or something like that to be leveled up instead. Now, of course, I could manipulate it a little bit. I could take out those sword maidens and I could put them in the other castle and, and things like that. But I feel like having really high level units doesn't really matter either way, whatever they may be. So I think we're I think we're fine with that. Ah, it seems like we're going to be helping the escort of Sultan Yusuf Al Salah. And we're going to be fighting against Hakon Herminius. All right. Okay. Well, that's that's fine, I guess. I don't really have a problem with that. Oh yes. Also, the Arulo, the Arulo are actually still in the game. I forgot about them. I actually forgot about them. That's rather amusing, isn't it? Because we haven't seen neither hide nor hair of them for many, many in-game months. And ever since we made peace with them, nothing has happened. Really, nothing has happened. So this is it's kind of interesting. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try and place my archers on this hill over here. 
I'm going to place everyone here, then put the archers there, and then put the infantry down here. We don't have too many infantry, so I don't really see a necessity to sort of micromanage them too much. How many do we actually have? 12. Yes, we don't really have that much at all, so I can just place them down at the bottom here. Actually, I think we outnumber these guys so heavily. Yeah, we outnumber them so heavily, there's really no need for me to sort of worry about anything I'm doing here. But I'm going to try and shoot a couple of their crossbowmen. Oh yeah, look at that damage. We're actually able to do pretty pretty decent damage right now. Not bad. Not bad. Oh wow, I'm actually being shot at as well. That's not very nice. Okay, come on. Can, can you can you please can you please Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's exactly what we wanted. We wanted to take out a couple. We almost have 300 archery proficiency. So, I'm very very happy with that change at the very least because it's been a long time coming. Okay, can I actually hit someone? Yeah, there we go. Nice. We actually killed the enemy vassal. Vassals, perhaps. Vassals. Okay, so I'm going to try and heal myself. There we go. Healed myself full HP. Nice. Okay. I was pretty surprised about that. Oh, there seems to be... What? What's actually going on here? Can you... Are these mine? No, these are not mine. Okay, this is very strange. As you can see, we have a bunch of archers here just st kind of standing in the middle of the field, not really doing anything. Okay, that's a very strange course of action for someone to take, but okay, I'm not going to not going to quibble one way or another. We know that the Elantorans are a little bit weird sometimes. Maybe they're a little bit well, under the effects of some hallucinogenic mushrooms. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, eight renown and nine morale. Nice, not too bad. We did take them out, of course. And yeah, they're going to be saying thank you. Okay, I'm going to just let this guy go. I don't see a necessity to keep him as our prisoner because we're making enough money as it is. And of course, we want him to join the Elantorans when the time comes. That would be pretty awesome if, if at all possible. Anyway, I'm going to take these freelancer archers because I think I do actually have... Oh no, freelancer archers. Ah, mm, okay. I actually thought for a second that they were hired units. Never mind. All right, anything else here that I want to take? Well, that's actually a pretty nice Bardiche. Uh, well, I like Bardiches a lot, but I'm not going to be using that anytime soon, so I guess I'm just going to continue onward. I really should have sold, shouldn't I? Really should have sold, so maybe I can do that once I find out where Duke Albondiol is going. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.